Hi everyone, this is Lucy, dating coach and matchmaker. And today I'm going to answer a question, where to find an ideal partner. But before I do, I would like to address five important mistakes that people are making while they are looking for their partner. And the number one would be investing into people who are not investing in them and spending time with people who don't have the same goals. So if you are in a relationship and you, have a, you are investing in a person who is telling you that he or she doesn't want to be in committed relationship, believe them. If you are swiping and somebody has in their status that they are looking for something casual, believe them. Don't waste your energy on people who don't have the same goal or have the same values as you do. Number two, not knowing yourself. I know it might sound like a cliche and a lot of dating coaches are talking about it. However, the key to finding a partner is you. You need to create something unique and original that the other person, if they look at you, they said, I want that. So know your values, know your goal, know your passion, everything that makes you special know and get to know yourself. Number three, living in a bubble. Life can get super comfortable and sometimes we get in this bubble that every day is the same day all over again. You need to put a break on that bubble and try something different. Maybe visit a new coffee shop, go for a lunch with a coworker, take a walk to a work. There is so much you can do during the way to change the pattern of living in a bubble. Number four, being tense. I know so many people who would come to me and they said, I just wanna get in a relationship and I wanna get married, I wanna have children, and they don't care who they are gonna be dating. This Tense energy is such an unattractive trait that you are sending to other people. I would like to say, relax, enjoy the process of dating and ask important questions such as, is the person good for me? What they have to offer to me? And finally, number five, being unapproachable. You probably been hurt a couple times and you don't want to put your walls down. But if nobody can access it, then you cannot attract the right partner. And it can start very small, such a little smile or just a simple hello. And where to find an ideal partner? The answer is simple, anywhere. If you avoid all those five mistakes that people are making, you are going to strongly increase your chances to find a partner. And here is a little story that happened to my friend, that she decided that she's going to change her bubble and she decided that she's going to go for walk every single day. In a couple weeks, she met a man of her dreams. Share with me your stories. I would love to hear from you about your dating and where you find your ideal partner. Till next time, ciao.